Hi guys, I just wanna do a quick video today on how I potty trained my daughter who is two years and four months. Um, I potty trained her actually before she was two years, about almost two years, it was like about a year and um, I don't remember, I think it was like year and maybe 10 months or so. She was almost basically two years. Um, I wanted to tell you guys how I did it. I actually potty trained her in one year, one, I'm sorry, in one day, and I know that it's not gonna work for everybody, and it's, you know, every child is different, but I just wanted to give you guys some quick advice on how, what and how I did it. Um, just really fast, uh, the, fir the first thing is that I did read a lot of books. My husband and I did read a lot of books on potty training, potty training. Um, and uh, we were going to follow all the advice that we read. Like for example, one book, I don't remember the names of the books, but like one book, for example, that my husband read talked about how you should have, um, I think like four uh, little toilets everywhere throughout your house. Like, so that way when your child was ready to go to the bathroom, you, you know, you'd have a restroom right there for her basically. Um, I didn't really like that idea, but I kind of was like, all right, I'll try it. And I thought, well, so we went down to buy, um, the toilets and I ended up backing out and I didn't think it was a good idea. I thought, well, I don't want my daughter to be trained to be okay with going wherever. I kind of want her to understand the concept of having to go to the bathroom, actually walking to the restroom. So I, after reading all these different books, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it the way I think is best, um, which is just what I tried and I had no advice from any anybody. I just thought, okay, this is probably how it's gonna work. Uh, let me start by telling you guys that from a very, very young age, my daughter would always go into the restroom with me when I had to go to the, to the restroom. Uh, she always was in there. I mean, obviously I'm a stay at home mom, so when she was a baby, you know, I couldn't leave her alone. I mean, if for you moms out there, you know how it is. So, so your kid, you know, usually goes to the bathroom with you um, and just sits there and waits for you to be done. So that's essentially what I would do, except for the fact that I would always explain to her what it is I was doing. I would say, you know, mommy's going to the bathroom, you know, and explain to her mommy's going pee pee or whatever it is that I was doing. Um, I would always tell her, even when at the age that you know most people assume that the child doesn't understand. The reason I did that is because I always thought it was probably a good idea to keep it consistent so she could hear those words over and over again and she understood eventually what it is that mom was doing. So I did do that from a very young age and I also um, would put her over the toilet at a very young age. I mean, I don't, I don't remember exactly how old she was. She's probably like about, you know, four or five months, believe it or not, yes, four or five months when I started putting, literally putting her over the toilet. Now I understand she she actually wasn't, you know, going to the bathroom, uh, she wasn't peeing or anything, but I just kind of put her in like over the toilet and be like, oh, go pee pee, you know, I would say, go to the bathroom, go pee pee, like mommy does, you know, I get it. A lot of people are probably watching this and saying, well, a five month old doesn't understand what you're saying. I have no idea, but all I know is that that's what I would do and I keep it consistent over and over again. Um, so I did that all the time. And then um, as she began to get older, I felt like she started to understand and just started to see, you know, a correlation between me putting her over the toilet and what I was doing when I would go to the bathroom. So around the age of one and like 10 months, I just, maybe it was, maybe it, it could be wrong. It could have been one and like 11 months, basically almost two years old. I, um, one day I decided, I told my husband, we are gonna potty train today and I'm not going to, um, you know, we're not going anywhere. We're gonna stay home. That's, that's essentially what we did. We said we're gonna stay home the whole entire weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and not go anywhere. And it's basically gonna be a weekend of potty training. Because I thought that it would probably take two full days, two to three days is what I thought. But I, actually I was wrong. It took one day, literally that same day that I started potty trainer, training her is the day that she did, you know, number one and number two on the toilet. Uh, so what I did, I woke up in the morning and I told her, you're going to, you know, you're going to use a big, you're going to use the toilet today. You're going to use the big girls, to big girls, uh, toilet. Um, no more diapers. I just ex basically explained to her that we weren't going to use diapers anymore. She didn't express any like hesitation or anything. I'm not really sure if she really grasped what I was saying, but either way I took her toy. I mean, I took her di diaper off and I just let her pick. I had a selection of underwears and I let her pick 
which ones she wanted, you know, for, from a variety. So I gave her choices. Um, I wanted her to feel like, oh, you know, she gets to wear whatever she wants. Um, I, I think I had like four or five underwear for her. And then she picked up the ones that she was going to wear, put them on. And I understood that she was probably going to pee on the floor. I knew that going in. I said, okay, well, she's probably going to have an accident the first, first go around, which was fine. Um, but I explained to her, if you have to go pee pee, you have to tell mommy, you just, you tell mommy that you got to go pee pee, you know? And she said, yeah, she kind of like nodded. So I took her to the bathroom. I explained to her, look, this is where you're going to go. You're going to go potty just like mommy does. You know, I wanted her to feel like she's going to be doing exactly what mommy does that she has seen over and over again. So I told her that, you know, and I got her really excited. I'm like, oh my God, we're both going to go potty in here. You know, I got her really excited about the idea of just going to the bathroom, you know, in a toilet. So that was number one. And then, um, Number two was when she actually went to the bathroom, which was in her underwear and it got all over the floor. I did not criticize her. I didn't like, you know, I wasn't negative about it. I said, oh, it's okay. Uh, next time we go to the toilet. And I showed her, I walked her over to the toilet. I still sat her down on the toilet, even though she already had the accident. Um, the, the thing I, th I feel is that a child, I, I feel like they're not gonna like the feeling of their underwear wet. So I feel like the first moment that she peed in her underwear, she didn't like the look on her face was like, Oh my God, because she was, she had never done that. You know, she always going, she'd always go in a diaper. So it was, I'm sure a very strange feeling to have pee dripping down her legs. And you know, so I took her underwear off. I took her to the toilet. I said, it's okay. You know, accidents happen, but next time we're going to go in the toilet. And I still sat her down. I showed her what she's supposed to do. Um, and that was it. And we, you know, she wiped. I tried to teach her how to wipe. Um, and we got up and, you know, went on with our day. Then put on a new pair of underwear. Third time around, I mean, second time around, she, I, I feel like she tried to hold it. She, tr she, she tried to tell me that she had to go to the bathroom. Um, I don't remember her specific words, but she did try to tell me that she had to go to the bathroom. And she tried to hold it. Um, we walked over to the toilet, she sat down and a little bit came out because she had already gone in her underwear just a tiny bit. And I gave her positive reinforcement. I said, good job, honey, you did it. You're such a big girl, you know. Just any, any positive reinforcement you can give your child is always good. You never want to criticize them for their mistakes in terms of potty training because I think that can have a negative effect on um, their ability to learn to go to the bathroom. and. It's just gonna it's just gonna make them nervous so you want to keep it very positive and very exciting um, you could either have the little toilet or you know you can go on the regular toilet um, however you want to do it but we had the little toilet the little you know the one that you buy at the store for toddlers uh, we had that one and we actually went to the store uh, one thing I forgot to mention when we went to the store we allowed her to pick out the one that she wanted so she did pick out like a pink and white one so when we took it out of the box the day that um, she was going to potty train, she was very excited about using it. And, um, you know, that's the what we used. We didn't put her on the big girl toilet right away or, you know, the, the regular adult toilet or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so, she, you know, for, so the second time around, she, she peed a little bit in her underwear and then she uh, obviously tried to hold it in. And then we, took, we put her on the, the little toilet and she did go a little bit. Uh, I gave her positive reinforcement. We clapped. We got excited. We told dad, oh, you know, she would, you know, we, we, we basically told everybody how, how she's, you know, she's doing so good, you know, so on and so forth. Um, then the third time, believe it or not, um, she told me she had to go to the bathroom and she had no accident. She went to the toilet, sat down and, and went pee. Um, and I was so excited i basically just again gave her positive reinforcement didn't make her feel like you know obviously why would i make her feel bad but you know i made her feel so happy about what she had done uh, i know some people for some people they they say that it's not good to you know give them something because they um you know they went to the bathroom because they maybe they're going to count on you giving them a treat every time they go to the bathroom but for me i did i gave her a little ice cream sandwich I gave her half of it 
Um, I, I only did that because I know my daughter and I know that she doesn't, um, <clears throat> I only did that because I know my daughter and I knew that she wouldn't feel like she's going to get it every time. You have to know your own child and how your own child will react. But for me, I knew it was fine. So I gave her half of an ice cream and she was super happy and everything was fine. Uh, the fourth time she actually went to the bathroom. She told me she had to go and it was number two. And I was stunned. I couldn't believe how I felt like, oh my God, how easy has this has been so easy, you know, like, and from then, from then on, she always told me when she had to go to the bathroom. Uh, the thing that was hard is whenever we would go out and she had to go to the bathroom, she wouldn't go in the toilet, like the regular toilet at like the mall or anything like that or at the store. She just wouldn't. So even, you know, I, I would hold her obviously, but she still wouldn't. She didn't like it. She was scared of it. So I kind of wish I would have trained her to go on a regular toilet before the little toilet uh, because they do sell those like seat covers that you can put on a regular toilet. I wish I would have trained her on that if I would have bought in one of those first and had her pick it out and then, you know, trained her on that. I think it would have been easier. So I ended up having to always carry the little small toilet in my car. Yes, I would carry the small toilet in my car. Some people are probably like, oh my God, that's so gross. Well, what I would do is if she had to go pee, I would pull over because I have a little SUV and she would go in the back, sit on the toilet, go in the back, and then I would collect the remains in a doggy bag. I'm sure you guys have seen the doggy bags if you have dogs. Um, that's what I would do. But eventually, I started to transition her from the small toilet to the regular adult sized toilet. Uh, just by, go again, going to the store, letting her pick out the seat cover, uh, getting her excited about using, it was like, it's basically the thing, the whole thing all over again, getting her excited about using the big toilet and uh, using her seat and just giving her positive reinforcement. It didn't, that didn't happen overnight. She would consistently try to use her small toilet, even though I let her pick out the, the seat cover for the adult size toilet. Uh, but it did happen, you know, it did, it did eventually work after like a week or so. And uh, ever since then, she's been using the big adult toilet with the little seat cover. So that's what I did, you guys. I know it doesn't work, obviously, for everybody, um, for every child, I should say. Uh, some kids, you know, it takes them a little longer. I'm, you know, like I've said in my other videos, I am pregnant right now. Uh, with I am six months pregnant, so we'll see how it goes with this baby. But again, as soon as this baby is born, you know, after like a month or so, I will probably start to, you know, believe it or not, put her on top of the toilet. Um, I know she's not going to go to the bathroom, but I just want her to see, you know, see me going to the bathroom, and you know, I just I don't know. I feel like it eventually they catch on as they see you and and you consistently do the same thing over and over again so um just keep it positive and give your child choices on what underwears they want to wear um you know the toilet seat cover the little toilet give let them pick all that stuff out oh another thing i wanted to tell you guys is also my daughter is potty trained at this point now she's two and four months um, is potty trained at night. So she doesn't wear diapers at night. Uh, she will wake up at night and tell me that she has to go to the bathroom. Uh, it's good. It, that's a good thing, but it also could be a very hard thing because obviously, you know, sometimes in the middle of the night, like three or four in the morning, she will wake up and want to go to the bathroom, which is kind of, you know, when I'm exhausted, I'm just, I'm sleeping. I don't really want to get up, but you know, whatever it's, um, it, that could be hard, but I do prefer her to do that. I want her to learn to wipe herself. Um, I've tried to teach her how to wipe herself. She does know a little bit, but it's not good enough. So that's why she wakes up to tell me that she has to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Uh, but I, I consistently, you know, every time she goes to the bathroom, I consistently have her uh, wipe herself first. And then I kind of, you know, help out afterwards. Cause I want her to learn obviously. Um, eventually how to do it on her own. So that way she could just get up and go to the bathroom on her own and she doesn't have to get me up. Um, so that's it guys. That's a, I know it's a very short video. This is just, you know, I just want to show you guys, tell you guys how I did it. Um, and I wish you guys luck. Um, 
that's all I can say. I don't feel, I, I don't think that you guys need to read all these different books. I, I feel like those books on, on potty training can be a little bit overwhelming. And I also kind of feel like they tell you the same thing over and over and over again, you know? So you just kind of have to follow your gut and just let them, let your child essentially get dirty. You know, if they pee on the floor, it's not the end of the world, you just clean it. It's gonna happen. You know, if you want them to learn, I feel like that's that's kind of like inevitable. It's gonna happen and you just have to let it happen <laughs> um, and not freak out when it does. And I feel like eventually they'll learn. I don't think you, it's not, it shouldn't be like a very stressful thing. It, I feel like people get so stressed out about when it's time to potty train. Oh my God, we have to stay, you know, it's gonna be like weeks and weeks of trying to train our kid. I get it for some, ch for some children, it is like that, but um, and if it is, it's okay. If your child takes longer to potty train, it's fine. You know, they're not going to be like a 20 something year old, not potty trained. They're eventually going to learn. So it's not something to stress out about is how I feel. Um, just keep it consistent and keep it positive. And that's all I have to tell you guys. Uh, hope you guys have are, are having a good day and please come back and visit me. Thanks guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.